Can we just talk about the scrutiny that Kamala is facing because she cheated using the Nova earpieces? Let me tell you something. I still believe she's a witch. I still believe dark magic was involved, but I am leaning toward the fact that that earpiece had a striking resemblance to the Nova earpiece, but that's not what I came to talk about. I came to talk about this. Um, Don't you find it a little bit ironic that she couldn't even stick around for an interview after the debate? As Trump did. I mean, he answered all the questions. He stuck around. He was humble. He was down to earth for the American people. And he was willing to answer the questions about the debate. But no, not Kamala. She had to run away on her little jet. She had to go and hide, act like she was too busy to talk to uh, the, the American people. And the interviewers. Why? Because she didn't know what they were going to say. You see, in this debate, it was fixed. It was pre-planned. She hadn't, she knew the script. She paid these people, so they gave her the script. It was three against Trump. She knew what they were going to say. That's why she was able to articulate and speak so well. Obama was also feeding her lines to the earpiece. But in the interview process, after the debate, she didn't know what they were going to say. And like we have seen so many other times by Kamala, it's always seen, unlike in this debate, where she actually spoke well, her words are always a word salad. She doesn't know how to answer simple questions. A lack of intelligence, a lack of being able to speak a regular sentence fluently and make it make sense. Her words are just all over. She's all over the place. That's why she didn't do the interview, people. That's why, because she didn't know the she didn't she didn't know the script. She didn't know the questions that were going to be asked. Therefore, we were going to see the real her. So she ran away because the real her is a word salad. The real her has a lack of intelligence and a lack of word knowledge and a lack and an inability to be able to run one sentence together to make it make sense without being a word salad or fragments and the lack thereof. Because she doesn't know how to speak. She practiced. It was planned. It was a script. Obama was feeding her lines through the earpiece. But guess what? The interviewers were not practiced. She didn't know them. She didn't know their questions. So we were going to see a sharp con contrast in the Kamala pre-planned script. Obama feeding her the lines through the ears in the debate and the Kamala in the interview process. So they told her because we don't know what they're going to ask and we don't want the real you to come out because we know you're stupid. Run away on your little jet. Act like you're busy. Get on the phone. No, you're a fake. You're a fraud. And if you're too busy for the American people, we don't need you. But the truth is you didn't know what they were going to say and we were going to see your real character, which is ignorant and the one that does not know how to talk, the one that has a word salad with everything that comes out of her mouth. Wake up, people. This is why she ran away and didn't do the interview, unlike President Trump. Trump 2024. If that doesn't like, boom, create a light bulb in your brain, I don't know what would. I don't know what will. Because it's so obvious why she ran away from that. Because she wasn't prepared and because the real her was going to come out. Because she didn't know the script. Obama didn't know what they were going to ask. So he, he can't tell her what to say because he don't know what they're going to say. Because that part was not planned. Wake up, people. We need Trump in office.